Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and the third and fourth song for Stacy. So this and I I enjoyed their previous two songs on the relative scheme of things. I rated the debut an eight point three and this song and the second song is seven point four. So I'm excited to see what they have. Good things about this song are are they went kind of the overall set. I don't like it so far as much as the debut, but I'm gonna see how far it'll go. Well, her visuals are good in this song. Nothing is too overly honest. So the visuals were nice overall for the girls and everything like that, especially like Momo in that pose. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of confusing, but overall visuals were nice, vocals were nice, but it just felt too soft for me that it didn't really have like kind of like the catchy vibe as their debut had. So I don't think it's as good as the debut. I don't think it's as good as the like this either. To be honest, I think it's going to be a lower a lower rated statement because it just didn't really pull me in as much as their previous two songs did. And the choreography was nice, of course. The vocals were nice. Like, n no no parts on that. It's just the overall song aesthetic didn't really hit me. A 6.6. Um, it, was, it wasn't bad. It just didn't really hit what I wanted, basically, in a song. I can't really explain it, but essentially just... You know, personal preference. A lot of people say that they love this song. For me, I felt like it was too slow, to be honest, and not really as catchy as their previous two songs. And their previous two songs were were pretty good, and I enjoyed listening to them. Definitely going on the playlist, but I don't think this one will. I think that's gonna do it for me. And it just, I don't know. Let me know what you like about this song because for me, it just didn't really hit me. Even though I do like the vocals and the choreography, it's not like anything lower than like a six point five. So. That's going to do be their fourth. All right, it's been two months since the release of the previous music video, and now will be an will be one of their dance practices for the song So What. So this one, I heard good things about as well. I heard good things about all their songs. I heard good things about this one, especially with their choreography being not overly complicated and simple to learn, but also really mashes well with them, and they can really make it powerful and look really good. So I'm really excited to listen to this song because it'll be six Stacey songs and this is going to be the fourth one of the day. And so I'm interested to see how they went with songs. So without further ado, I think I'm just going to get right into it just to, because I don't have any other news about them because I just kind of went into these music videos kind of plain and dry. Just what I know from my like comments on other music videos. So another soft song similar to their previous one. I guess since ASAP was the title track for that album, this one is also going to be similar. And to be honest, just personal preference, I don't really like this kind of style of song. Like, they're fine being soft and like cutesy, but it needs to have a bit of a nice beat to it. And just for, to be honest, this beat feels just kind of artificial. Alright, here we go. Yep, that definitely got better. Okay. I for sure like it more than ASAP now. This one had better, like, beat drop than ASAP did, which I like. I like that choreography switch because the beat. Yeah, I definitely like this song more than than the previous one in this video. The overall beat in the choreography is really nice, and I love the visuals. Like the vocals right there, when everybody meshes together, is really nice. 
even if it's an audio recording, but that's how you know you get the best audio. All right, what, what, not a bad, not a bad one. Um, the beat started off pretty slow for like the first four to five seconds or so, but once it actually hit, it hit really nice. The overall vocals really meshed well together, and like I said in the previous group, that there's no one that's overly higher or stronger than the others. Everybody matches well. You know when Geo's singing is the loudest and the craziest, but not in a bad way. Thing meshes well together, and they sound like one cohesive unit, which I really like. And so overall, vocals were nice. Choreography was was good, of course. Like it, like I agree with the comments. It was pretty simple, but. They really pull it off well together, and everything matched well with like um like the Stacy line as well when they when they spelled out their name and did like that choreography spin. That one was probably one of my favorite. Did. So for me, a seven point two out of ten because it wasn't it didn't really hit me as their debut did like I've been saying. So I think I like their debut the most so far, and I think that score that it's currently at is definitely a good one. But so far. It's they went kind of more softer. I kind of like the girl crush kind of cutesy, not really cutesy. I kind of like more the girl crush style of their debut album, because this one was good. It just didn't have enough of a, like a backing beat that I enjoyed to keep me like on the to keep me for the playlist and everything like that. Just personal preference, of course. Some people like these kinds of songs. Some people don't. I just don't really care for it very much. But it's definitely not a bad song, which is why I'm gonna rate it like a C which is basically how the scores work out. So overall, good song, love the vocals, everything meshed well together, choreography, choreography was good. And I think that's going to do it for the third and fourth song for Stacy. So I will see you in the next video with their fifth and sixth song, and also their most recent comeback will be the sixth song, which is group, next. Out of everything you're watching, if you want to support me, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content from me, and also leave a comment down below on what you think I should react to next. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so, and you'll get early access to videos. There's also be polls, so you can vote on what you think I should react to next. And also, if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it, I'll take it down off of YouTube, and I'll put it on Patreon, and I'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one I have currently. So time to stand. So just look it up, and you can see all the videos over there. So right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a two gig uh, maximum. So it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts. But I made a playlist with it, and so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.